one stepping? Yeah. Stepping. Man, between you and Lewicki, I get both your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so Stefan represents the creative me. All right. Yes. That, yes. Was, that was released. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. From a uh, Russian wife who pronounced Stephen with a PH, Stephen. Okay. Yeah. Yes. During that time that the poems were inspired. Awesome. Or awesome. the beginning of them. So, first of all, I want to, can you all hear me without the... Um, no, use the mic. Okay. It's better for the video. So. Okay. Um, thank you, Gene, so much. Um, I don't think uh, my time, you would appreciate my time here without me sharing just a little bit of history where I've been. I'll, I'll do it quick, but with foreign. Um, two weeks ago, I didn't know what CSMI was. I didn't know Gene. I had not been to anything like this before. Yeah. So, long story short, I've been in the field uh, of engineering and construction. Mm -hmm. It was really a pull, an economic pull. My heart was in filmmaking. Mm -hmm. uh, coming out of high school, my passion has continued to be film, the study of film, screenwriting, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. So after uh, 30 plus years <laughs> of being an engineer, a project manager, a construction manager, and helping billionaires make their next million, over the last six months, I've decided I want to help God's kingdom create their next million right, right, right. of attendees. Right. And so um, the last 15 years, the Lord has clearly said to me, and I will not quote the Lord uh, lightly, I want you to write music for me. Wow. And so with, with no writing background, got an education in music, a <laughs> uh, couple That's forays awesome. into learning the piano, um, yeah. A lot of dead ends during, you know, just trying to meet, make connection, even within my own current church where they're writing their own music, just kind of dead ends. And so the last six months of my job, literally, I could not do. I, I was going in late. I just did getting up at 4 a.m. And, and being up at 4, but being late for an 8 o'clock job. I didn't want to do it anymore, and I saw the abilities going away. The company saw it. And yeah. so we came to a good mutual decision to part ways the end of March. And so I was going, um, the Lord told me one night in those last two weeks, go into the forest with me. And so for me, the forest is Western Carolina, specifically Montreat, Black Mountain area, which is a big of my heart, my soul, where also Billy Graham lived for most of his life in his ministry. And so um, I went to Montreat and was literally walking down the road in Black Mountain, going down that little slope down towards Louise's kitchen for breakfast. And something told me, I'm not saying it's the Lord, just a thought. If you're going to be writing music, getting into that world, you need new peeps. You know the engineers, the construction managers, the accountants, the straight ups. We need creative people. So it was during waiting for my eggs team that I found CSMI, CMS, CSMI on Google. And that's when I typed that note to you. Is that wild? Wow. Yeah. Wow. And, and you called that Monday around noontime two days later. So it was literally two Saturdays ago I learned about your organization. And so Gene graciously invited me. I didn't know what, what to expect. I've been frantically going through the, where my... 50 plus poems were all over the house and little crannies. <laughs> As I've been impassioned, what I do is I get very impassioned about a subject, uh, a, a, a situation in our culture or what the Lord's telling me, and I put it to a poem and I can't stop until it's there. Right. And so um, here I am. And so even if I never got to share these this morning, I was already content with the experience. Because if something impacts your life one degree, in the long run, you're going to end up at a whole different place. Amen. This weekend has changed my life one degree. I firmly, this firmly puts me on a bearing away from engineering construction and that world into, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm firmly turned away. <laughs> And so this first poem I'm going to share with you, I want to uh, share the inspiration. So I do some pro-life volunteer work. I'm a trained sidewalk advocate, which means you have to go for eight hours training. You, you, you have to be prayerfully considered and interviewed because they don't want anybody to give it, you know, the whole thing. 
uh, a bad name. How do we encounter a woman that are driving into an abortion clinic and try to create a relationship in about 10 seconds, me dies and tell them there's a different option. So we've got this big bus that does ultrasounds, uh, HIV testing, everything, and even will set up for adoption. And so there's, there's these teams of advocates and then there's prayer warriors from the Love Life Ministry. So we're all out there and the abortion workers are out there combatively with umbrellas intercepting us and playing loud rock and roll music with handheld radios mm. and physically getting in front of us and the person we're trying to talk to mm. through the window. Yeah. So it's very, just to give you a sense. Mm. And so one particular Saturday, and we call them wins or I think saves, um, typically there'll be 20 to 25 babies aborted. And we call it a save. If we got one of the ladies to come to the bus, we pray on them, we, we give them options, and it's called a save. And I remember one particular Saturday, I just saw the death in women's eyes as they came through, and I was in such despair, and there were no saves. And it's just, you know, it's heartbreaking because you're trying to do the Lord's work. And Speaking of that, with all the issues that everybody brought up legitimately, like your poem, All the Things Going Wrong, 63 million babies have been aborted since Roe v. Wade. Right. Mm. That alone is judgment on this country. Right, right, right. Never right, mind right. all the other stuff right, that's right. the last two years. Right. So anyway, I want this poem to bring awareness to Christians that this is a movement we need to be deeply involved in Amen. and for yeah. expected mothers to consider. And so here I was, I was leaving the um, Saturday morning uh, ministry at the abortion clinic and I drove to Whole Foods and sat in their cafe bar, sipping a coffee or an Americano. And there was a lady who came by me with a little baby and just kind of singing a little nursery rhyme. And it made me think what a contrast of what I've seen at the abortion clinic and this lady pushing a little little thing and sing in the nursery rhyme and I thought of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and that spurred the title of my poem which is Wonder Wonder God's Delight Twinkle Twinkle Little Star He talks tomorrow I gotta get up Sure I forgot <laughs> <laughs> and, and so I just thought of the innocence how um, one lady could have her baby and be enjoy enjoying it and other ladies had 25 times uh, destroyed life. And that's not a judgment if, I, I just wanna say this loud and clear, if anybody in here has had an abortion, God's grace is greater. So there is no condemnation under God for that. So we can move on from these things, um, whatever your past has been. So I just wanna say I do not recite this poem in any judgmental way but it's an awareness going forward. It's okay. And so uh, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star was uh, actually written in 1806. Wow. Can you believe that? Wow. It's, it's been a wow. long, ageless. Wow. Yeah. And, then, and I wanted Brendan to play this because it will put your heart and your mind back into that innocence that sense it's really a baby. So my chorus is coming. <laughs> my little ching, jingle. Wonder, wonder, God's delight. Though I'm hidden from your sight, won't you take me home tonight? I'm defenseless in this fight. Wonder, wonder, God's delight, who will defend the baby's rights against the forces of the dark night? Will you hold me oh so tight? Wonder, wonder, God's delight. This is not the drive I thought. Mummies brought their prize be God. Save them from this selfish sin so the world can see life begin. Wonder, wonder, God's delight. Let me live and dance and sing, proving God's creation and what I bring. Tell me a story of how I'll grow, fingers, eyebrows, and my toes. Wonder, wonder, God's delight. 
Mistakes can happen, this we know, but killing me now doesn't mean God won't know. Wonder, wonder, God's delight. So let's grow to a old together and live this song like a mom and child belong. Wonder, wonder, God's delight. I feel so warm inside your womb. Please choose life instead of the tomb. Wonder, wonder, God's delight. Out of darkness and into sight, proving that life is within my rights. Wonder, wonder, God's delight, though I'm hidden from your sight, won't you take me home tonight? I'm defenseless in this fight. Beautiful, beautiful. So that's, that's an awareness type poem. So the motivation is not to be recorded or make money. It's hopefully it can become part of the pro-life march. Yeah. Yes, and yes. bring bring awareness and bring yes. that, that strength, the spirit, the boldness we need, the kind of boldness cash brought this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> so a second poem um, from my work experience, I had to do a project on Hilton Head Island. So Hilton Head Island is very wealthy, not where I'm from. And so you see the wealthiest of the wealthiest go to this island. And I visited Hilton Head Island Community Church. And I remember the pastor saying, of all the people that come from all over the country, very, very wealthy in their Jaguar convertibles and going to one of the 248 restaurants there and showing all the gold and about 5% are churched. Wow. And so as I went around Hilton Head just day to day, uh, on my project, we built a uh, health uh, wellness center there, my, the company I was working for. I, th I looked, I, I continually look at the extremely wealthy and there's something so devoid in their eyes. And of course, they've been exposed to church growing up, so they know what the right thing is and they've probably heard preachers. So the title of this song is, Has the Preacher Been Right? Has the Preacher Been Right? I thought I planned it right, studied with all my might, worked late hours into the night. With my money, I've always been tight. Has the preacher been right? Investing for this day has always been in my sights, never given up anything without a fight. But as I drink in a season of self-delight, I wonder aloud if the preacher's been right. Has the preacher been right? As the days turn to nights, will I live past this light? I fight and fight with all my might, but the game's changed. He's coming back tonight. Has the preacher been right? Time for one more? Okay, so, so this is a personal inspiration praise from July 30th, 05. So one of my first ones where the Holy Spirit just, just gushed into me. This is called Renewed and Redeemed by You. Renewed and Redeemed by You. Heavenly sense of You. Give a sense of the work You do. Everything I have in treasure is from You. Life springs through You. Renewed and Redeemed by You. Oh Father, the things I do never come up to the measure of You. Some of my thoughts and views are disturbing to the nature of you, renewed and redeemed by you. I need oh so desperately a glimpse of you. It seems every day the world's coming apart in two. We groan for your love and a scriptural renew, redeemed and renewed by you. When we chase idols and gold, cleanse us into the image of you. I stray so often from the flocks in your field where fences exist only in the freedom you yield, renewed and redeemed by you. Meaning to serve you with the strength of hand, one sin after another finds each hand. Coming to Jesus, the answer can only be a simple desire to be in his company, renewed and redeemed by you. Heavenly graces and sweetness engage me. They come from Abba, our kingly daddy. Nothing can prick our hearts so tenderly as the sweet aroma his presence provides to me. We do redeemed and renewed by you. 
the way we, re we rediscover his presence today is to lift the name of Jesus, his son, the only way, renewed and redeemed by you. This path we call life is so mysterious to me. Send your grace, O Lord, that I may feel thee renewed and redeemed by you. O Father, acts of love you call us to perform. Give the determination to chase this alone, renewed and redeemed by you. If forgiveness is a measure of the love we possess, let me give all portions to all that I address. I know some things missing when I don't feel your peace. May your comforting presence in this world never cease. I, if I miss the lesson you lay on the path for me, give me the sense to return to Jesus, the one sure victory, renewed and, renewed and redeemed by you. Amen.